Hello and welcome to our Boston studio for a special CUBE conversation, part of our exclusive CUBE coverage of AWS's reInvent. I'm Rob Streche, Managing Director with the CUBE Research. And in this session, we will explore why a centralized platform approach to governance and resilience is essential to effectively managing, optimizing, gaining value from multi-cloud environments, especially when these disparate and distributed environments may have occurred by accident, by acquisition, shadow IT, differences in your business units. Today, I'm joined by Dmitry Panikov, who's the CEO and founder of Emma. Welcome, Dmitry. Hey, Rob. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Great opportunity. Yeah, I, I, I love what you guys are doing. I think, again, it really helps to take take advantage of what is going on in multi-cloud. Uh, I think current environments really uh, that we've been tracking are really multi-cloud and tracking to multi-cloud for this past several years. And it, many are transitioning to cloud and now to multi-cloud environments with organizations using these multi-cloud environments in more meaningful ways, even though they may not have thought about that intentionally. A lot of it has to do around applications and how they are using particular clouds for differing applications. So let me welcome you back in here, Dimitri, because I think you guys are doing some really interesting things here that's really relevant to folks at AWS that are in AWS. Maybe they're using one of the other hyperscalers. Maybe they even have on-prem as well as in colo. Uh, and maybe people haven't really understood what's going on, but how does this align with what you're seeing and what you can really comment on, how Emma's platform enables governance, financial controls across multiple cloud environments that organizations have adopted by accident. So they got into this situation and now they're like, okay, now what? How do we get it under control? How do you see that? And how have you seen that in the customers you've been working with? Great question, thanks. So many organizations uh, I have talked to say that sometimes this multi-cloud adoption fell from the sky, right? So they simply stuck in the multi-cloud environment. Sometimes they even do not realize that they are in the multi-cloud. So they, they just simply tell us, okay, we use AWS, but in the regions where we do not have AWS, there is another provider. And yeah, we actually also have an on-prem. And you're like, okay, guys, you're in the multi-cloud. So basically our platform addresses a reality we see often organizations unintentionally adopt multi-cloud environments due to, let's say, ad hoc decisions, right? And we enable with our centralized platform, um, to provide the, them with the visibility across the variety of the clouds, enforce different policies, and offer a financial tools to control their costs. So basically this approach turns the accident reality into a strategic advantage. Yeah, I love that. I, I think that's, I, I think again, when people are looking at how do they get ROI and further ROI, they're looking for a platform that really you know, provides them flexibility. Uh, and they're really looking to also, I think part of it is that, you know, they're looking to really improve the resilience and reliability of applications by allowing, you know, their different business units and their customers, uh, you know, of the IT organization to deploy across multiple providers. How is Emma really helping organizations from the resilience perspective and the reliability perspective? Yeah. <laughs> One other great question, thanks a lot. So uh, we had a few conversations with you already and uh, you are very much aware that we have built our networking backbone that physically interconnects different cloud service providers. So because of this networking backbone, Emma allows customers to seamlessly distribute their workloads across multiple cloud service providers to reduce the dependencies on a single cloud to minimize the downtime uh, risks. So. Basically, our platform automates the deployment strategies and ensures the resilience while optimizing applications' performance across the environments. Yeah, no, I, I think that 
what, what we're saying, it, it, again, is, and I think one of the reasons why I've really liked this solution is that it goes beyond just the network. And the, the network is really kind of the backbone in how things are connected together, but it goes to the point where it helps the configuration, the DevOps aspects, and really takes into account that multi-cloud is not really the easiest thing. But what other capabilities is Emma's platform providing to help customers optimize the cloud costs and get their IT budget back compared to relying solely on the cloud provider's tools? Because there are tools in all of these hyperscalers uh, kind of point tools, if you want to say that for them. But Emma goes beyond that and kind of help the organizations watching understand what that is. Yeah, so Emma is a comprehensive platform and indeed underneath of our platform, there is a networking backbone. And on top of this networking backbone, we've built a set of services, managed services, applications uh, that help our customers to deploy their workloads the way they really want or the way they really need. And on top of this, services, we also have the powerful set of AI tools that provide our customers with the um, unified cost analysis, proactive alerts, and automate uh, the recommendations that go beyond the cloud native tools. And by consolidating this data across the different cloud service providers or from the different cloud service providers, our platform gives organizations actionable insights to cut waste and reallocate resources efficiently. So basically this is how we help our customers to get their IT budget back. Yeah, and, and I think it's such a key because, you know, again, when you look at how uh, platform engineering is really changing and how uh, organizations are reorganizing their entire teams, you know, Emma's really integrating in a platform approach across all of these different personas that are important. So, you know, when you look at Emma's platform from your perspective and you're having these conversations with organizations, you know, how do you understand or how do they understand that the platform engineering team is really enabled to focus on innovation rather just cloud management and infrastructure, getting time, like you were saying, kind of getting time back? Yeah. And so, we understand that managing cloud environments is, is a boring thing, right? So everyone wants to talk AI or the other like fancy stuff and nobody like really wants to, to deploy the VMs, for example. So with our platform, we can automate the repetitive infrastructure management tasks or deployment tasks, integrate the CI CD pipelines and provide out of the box support for the variety of different environments. And basically this approach frees up um, platform engineers to focus on building really innovative features or solutions of, uh, instead of managing the, 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 the complex infrastructures. And so this is how we support them. This is, I think, really important when, when we're talking about the, the platform engineering approach. Yeah, no, you, you brought up the word I didn't, but AI is really <laughs> top of mind. And I know it's a big theme at you know, AWS reInvent this week. And really it's, it, it's one of these things that people are trying to figure out how to start their journey. Uh, how do you see Emma helping organizations really accelerate their AI journey in the public cloud or on premise? Because we still know that, funny enough, data actually feeds AI, and that may not be in all in the cloud at this point in time. Yeah, so AI is a big thing today. And yes, indeed, Emma supports the different um, approaches in AI. So first of all, Emma streamlines the resource provisioning for the different AI workloads. We also don't care whether this is a cloud environment or on premises. Uh, so if there are your like local GPUs or the cloud GPUs, Emma supports at all. On top of that, we optimize the compute and the storage for different AI models, and we ensure the compliance and we support, again, the hybrid deployments. On top of that, as, as I told you during the KubeCon in Paris, we are building the next big thing where we we will be able 
to build a single logical GPU cluster where you can combine the hardware capabilities of the different cloud service providers. Basically, you can take like four accelerators from Google, two accelerators from AWS, and another three from Azure, combine them into a single logical cluster and train your models. So we want to help customers to avoid this lack of resources that currently people experience. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, like you said, you know, almost like a virtual GPU pool across that. And we were, like you said, talking at Paris. It was all the talk actually, uh, you know, a couple weeks back at, you know, KubeCon in Salt Lake City as well as uh, AI infrastructure really becomes, hey, how do I build all of this together? Hey, I, you guys have some really interesting you know, insight because you have been doing this. Uh, maybe people don't know, haven't heard of Emma before, but you guys have been around for a while and really doing this across multiple, uh, multiple providers, uh, both in Europe and in the US. Talk about how some of the customers have come to you and kind of like, how did they, how did they initially start off with Emma? So, the typical customer's journey with Emma looks like, okay, so this is too good to be true. They promise me the cost reduction, like 30% on average. So let's kick it off with a, with a smaller useless piece of the environment, like testing environment, and let's give it a try. And when they see that, okay, Emma provides the real savings and the real value. They spend less time. They need less high skill professionals. They, they, they can shorten their time to market. They're like, okay, wow, we need to, to move all our workloads or more of our workloads into, into the platform. So Emma can provide us like more value. So that's, this is like a typical journey uh, with our customers. And there are like some crazy numbers I could share with you. So imagine there is there is a company that decided to go like 100% cloud agnostic. They were, um, um, let's say, a cloud service, a single cloud service provider, and then they say, okay, we want to be independent. They reduced their cloud bill by 88% in in a six months time frame. It's crazy. I mean, yeah. ourselves take ourselves as an example. We decided to to become cloud agnostic like a year ago, and I shared this on my LinkedIn. They did like the, the results, uh, so we reduced our cloud bill by seventy percent, and we are one hundred percent cloud agnostic. So I mean, that's crazy. So help us understand, you know, again, it, how simple it is for customers to really get started with Emma, because I think part of it is multi-cloud has been difficult for customers over the years and really getting started and the fact that you're SaaS and it's easy and you're bringing all these capabilities that maybe they had two or three different tools doing in the past. So for the customers, again, it's super easy. You go to our web page, you click sign up button and then you have it all. So you have all the cloud service providers available. You can integrate your existing environments. You can get connected and provision your on-premises environment. You can integrate your CI CD pipelines. You can use your Terraform scripts. You can leverage our API gateway. So everything is there from the day one, you just simply need to sign up and that's it. Yeah, I, I think that to me is the key. And I think again, that's what they want is the cloud operating model and cloud operating experience. So kind of last word, you guys are on the floor here exhibiting at, at uh, reInvent. Uh, what are you going to be showing off? What can people see? So this year we we are gold sponsors at reInvent. We have a pretty big booth, and uh, we are going to show our like customers, prospects, partners how Emma can really benefit their businesses. So there there, there are going to be a lot of uh, interesting demos, office hours uh, with our engineers. Uh, our head of product is uh, preparing an amazing demo, like live demo, how to move the workloads across the clouds uh, within like seconds and with a single word that you adjust in your in your script so this is like amazing and you gotta see this live yeah no i i'm definitely stopping by in a little while so i really hope uh to see you there pretty soon and uh you know again thank you dimitri for coming on board today yeah thanks rob for having me it was amazing conversation thanks a lot
And thank you for watching this special CUBE conversation from our Boston studio, soon to be live in Las Vegas, as well as part of our exclusive CUBE coverage of AWS's annual conference called reInvent, in case you didn't know what it was called. Stay tuned for more on the CUBE, the leader in tech news and analysis.